Hey, good morning. What's poppin'? How are y'all doing today? Oh, I'm doing great and everything in the world is trying to make me late for work, but I will not let that stop me. Actually, I'm already letting it stop me. I am hella late right now. <laughs> Anyway, how y'all doing today? Today, I would like to talk to you guys about whether or not the Jehovah Witness organization is a cult. Wait, wait, XJW community. <laughs> community. I know what you're going to say. It is a cult. There's no arguing it. This is a simple, dumb video, Jay. No, it's, I need to point out why it's a cult, you know? You can't just call something a cult without pointing it out. You know what I mean? Now, the other day, I talked about your gifts. The gifts you have as a human being. The things that you can do better than most other people are your gifts. Those are the things that you put, that you that you can make the world a little bit better of a place by using. And it can make you reach an actual place of happiness because the fact that you're really good at something makes you feel good doing it. Kind of makes you want to do it. You know that's kind of meaning? So, okay, here we go. With the Jehovah Witness organization, they actively, actively try to shut down those gifts unless they could use them to better the organization. I want you guys to think about that real hard for a second. To have gifts and have things that make you great taken away because they don't benefit the organization. Does that sound like a religious group to you? Does that sound like something that's even holy to you? You know what I mean? If you believe in God, right? You believe in God, right? The world is a better place when people use their talents, when people use their mind, when they dedicate themselves to something other than God. Just think about that. Would a God give us this entire planet and all the things that's in it and just tell us to ignore it all and just spend every waking moment worshiping him? First off, would you even want to worship a God like that? I had a girlfriend who was got mad at me because I didn't call her once, at least once every day. I broke up with her immediately. <laughs> I don't have that much time to dedicate to some, and I liked her. She had a big booty. <laughs> Back in the day, that was the scale on whether or not I liked you. Was Did you have a big booty? She does. I love her. <laughs> that was the scale. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously a better person now. You got to have a big top two. Anyway, um, yeah, she was mad at me because I did not call her once a day, every day. And you know what's really funny? What's really, really funny is that she got with a guy who did call her every day and she broke up with him, said he was lame. <laughs> said, oh, he, he just let me walk all over him. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's, that's not the point. The point is, is that you are given this entire world. You're given this intelligence. You're given all, this is what you believe, right? You, got, you were given all these things by God to be these great people. And you're to ignore it and spend all your time out in the ministry. Really? Really? Does that make sense to you? That sounds like something only a cult would do. You're not scared of meaning? Because if you were put on this world, right? And you did not use your intelligence and people did not use and dedicate themselves to science and finding out different things. You know, if the Jehovah Witnesses ran the world and been running the world for a long time, we'd still be trying to, 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 to uh, pray away the measles. You know what I'm saying? We'd be up in there, please God, take these painful measles away. Please, please take it away. And that mesothelioma. I'm trying to pray it all away. <laughs> because we learned that you can't pray away a disease. You have to actively Look and find a cure. That's how you get rid of it. I've yet to see somebody pray and get rid of a disease. I've yet to see it. People pray for a cure. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how much it helps, but there you go. I would rather you pray for a cure than pray to be cured. You know what I'm saying? 
Because I've yet to witness God cure somebody of an ailment. There are times where people are like, wow, I thought she, I thought she was a goner. But in the end, she, she pulled through. Wow. And people are like, oh, only God could do that. All right, cool. But my bigger point is this. The fact that we put our minds together and we worked and we figured out and got the technological advances we have today. How could we have that if we spend all our time, energy and effort just worshiping God? That's it. That's all we do. And the meetings five times a week. When we're not at the meetings, we're studying for the meetings. And when we're not studying for the meetings, we got a field service. And it's on and on and on, nonstop, forever, ever. Just keep going, going, going. Like, is that what we're supposed to do in a new system? In a new system, maybe we won't have that many meetings or something. I don't know. <laughs> but trust me, you're going to have to spend every waking moment following God. How are there going to be any technological advances? How can we dedicate ourselves to something that we need done if we can only dedicate ourselves to God? You know what I'm saying? This is what makes the religion a cult. Because every other religion, you can be your best self, be the best version of yourself. Marry, you can be a Christian and marry a Jehovah Witness at the same time. But a Jehovah Witness isn't supposed to marry a Christian. They allow it. They can't stop you. But if, oh, if you're an elder, they'll take away your privileges. If you're anybody with any position inside the organization, oh, they'll take those right away. Oh, you're dating somebody who's not a JW? Okay, then. We're going to take away these privileges. <laughs> and, and mind you, they're not privileges. That's just the word they use to describe them. Matter of fact, I shouldn't even call them privileges because I may, <laughs> I may fool somebody into thinking that I believe at some point that they're privileges. I've learned better. They're not privileges. <laughs> it's free labor. Let's call it that. The free labor that you were given away can be taken away from you. <laughs> but mentally, you've taken the word privilege and you coincided it with the free labor that you're giving away. <laughs> you're like, no, I don't want to give away my privileges, aka free labor. <laughs> But things like this make them a cult. The, the words that they use, the mind control. You know what I'm saying? The cut off from society. The, oh, I don't wanna be no part of this world when there's billions and billions and billions of people in this world. This is, uh, how else can I say it, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> This is a cult through and through. If you ever research what a cult is, don't look at any XJW stuff, just research what makes a cult a cult. I swear, this is a true story now, right? <laughs> this is a true story. I think I told this story before, right? But somebody I know was telling somebody else who was a Jehovah Witness, right? Somebody who's an ex-Jehovah Witness was telling a Jehovah Witness what makes up a cult. What makes it up. Like, they was reading the definitions and the and the key words to, to like, you know, if this is happening, this is a cult. If you see this happening, these are the makings of a cult. And as he was reading them line by line to this guy, the guy, and, and mind you, at no point did he say, Hey, the Jehovah Witnesses is a cult. He didn't even bring up religion in general. He just said, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I want you to just know what a cult is. I'm just going to read you the stuff so you can know what a cult is. He starts to read the stuff to this guy, right? <laughs> and about halfway through, this guy's a JW. About halfway through, the JW guy says, Oh, that's some old apostate stuff you're reading right there. <laughs> he said, that's some apostate mess you are reading right there. Y'all trying to say the Jehovah's Witness organization is a, is a cult? No, it's, mind you, once again, he did not say the Jehovah's Witness organization, he didn't even bring them up in name. 
He also, at no point, <laughs> did he, was he trying to, like, was, was it even a, 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 an apostate place he got it from? He literally went on the internet and looked up what makes a cult. It wasn't written by an XJW. It wasn't written by an apostate. It had nothing to do with the Jehovah Witness organization. But somehow, it had everything to do with the Jehovah Witness organization. You know what I'm saying? The fact that he, all, with it, all by himself, was able to draw a conclusion and mentally say, Oh, you're talking about the JWs. No, we're not. We're talking about cults. Now, if your religion happens to fit in so well that you think we're talking about them, then yes, it may be a cult. So, yeah, going forward, if you don't know, if you ever get a chance to read the things that make up a cult and how do you know you're in a cult, you'll be... It, it, it pretty much just calls out the Jehovah Witness organization. And any organization like it. Scientology, Mormonism, uh, uh, any and everything you can think of. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got for y'all today. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'm still on the way to work. Late as hell. But I'll be there. You know what's kind of meanie? Anyway, it's your boy, Jay the Comedian. Holla at your guala. Deuces.